Every now and then, I like covering a topic about bioremediation, or pollution recovery, or some new development that will help us live sustainably on this pale blue dot. Well today, I have a really neat science news segment for you, about a newly designed enzyme that can break down PET, or polyethylene terephthalate, which is a common type of plastic. As of 2018, the UN estimates that human activity creates 300 million tons of plastic every year. They estimate that since the 1950s, over 8 billion tons of plastic have been produced globally, and 60% of that, which is a huge portion of all of the plastic that we make, ends up either in landfills or somewhere in the wilderness, polluting the natural environment and harming wildlife. I've covered a few studies about the extent of plastic pollution, like a study that found microplastics in human feces, suggesting that humans across the world are currently contaminated with microplastics. And there have been other articles about microplastics being found in creatures in deep ocean trenches and having been found at the top of mountains. It truly is a global, almost omnipresent pollution problem. Now, recycling plastic is a possible solution, but it's challenging. Plastic is composed of long organic polymers, and while these can be recycled, each recycling process degrades the plastic and makes it weaker. Also, because of the chemical structure of plastic, you can't just melt it down and reform it like you can do with metal. That works with like iron and copper and aluminum, but not with plastic. Chemical recycling processes are, today, pretty limited. They either don't fully break the plastic down, or they can only break down a very specific type of plastic. Uh, in most cases, getting rid of plastic just involves throwing it into an incinerator and scorching it all away to CO2 and trace chemical compounds. Now, the research effort that I want to tell you about today involved the genetic screening of 100,000 different microorganisms, all of them potential candidates for carrying some kind of enzyme or biochemical that has the ability to break down plastic. The researchers happened to find one in a metagenome analysis of biological matter taken from a pile of composting leaves. Specifically, it was a cuticle hydrase enzyme called LC cutinase, which normally in a healthy uh, plant leaf tissue, normally it would be involved in processing the chemicals in the cuticle of a plant's leaf, which is a waxy layer that the plant uses to help seal in water and prevent moisture loss. Okay, so quick sidebar before we go any farther. This is so crazy. I mean, talk about humble origins. An enzyme that might play a critical role in the bioremediation of the massive plastic pollution problem, which is probably the worst pollution problem that the world has ever known. This enzyme was first found in a pile of rotting leaves. Life is just so weird sometimes. Anyway, when the enzyme was identified, they used a mutation technique to improve its efficiency and increase its stability. They made it stable at 72 degrees Celsius, which is good because that's an optimal temperature for plastic degradation. They were able to produce enzymes that could degrade plastic at an hourly rate of 12 milligrams for every milligram of enzyme that was applied in combination with water to ground up PET plastic waste. Now, on a chemical level, the polyethylene terephthalate is broken down into MHET dimers, which are then broken down into ethylene glycol, which is biodegradable and will fall apart in about 10 days, and terephthalic acid, which is another biodegradable organic chemical. The technique that the researchers use to improve the enzyme is really cool. They basically created a bunch of mutated copies of the gene, and they exposed them to certain environmental conditions or binding sites. And the ones that did the best were preserved and copied, and they served as the basis for a new batch of mutated copies, you know, for a new generation of permutations. If you repeat this cycle over and over again, you're essentially using a controlled evolutionary process to create super effective enzymes for whatever purpose that you need. The research team that discovered the enzyme was comprised of scientists from the Carbios company and the Université de Toulou in France. They explained that apparently these kinds of plastic degrading enzymes have been discovered before, but this new one is really exciting 
because it's more effective and faster acting than pretty much any other known enzyme. This new enzyme, the modified LC cutinase, breaks down around 90% of a plastic bottle within 10 hours. Or to put it another way, they can break down 90% of the PET polymers into monomers over a 10 hour period. In their paper, they say, quote, this highly efficient, optimized enzyme outperforms all PET hydrolases reported so far, unquote. Furthermore, they describe how this biologically recycled PET has the same properties as virgin petrochemical PET, which means that it can theoretically create a, quote, circular PET economy. In this case, we wouldn't need to dredge for oil to make these plastics anymore. We can recycle them and maintain the quality perfectly. The researchers explain the future potential of this enzyme biotechnology, saying in a press release that this recycling process could facilitate a, quote, real transition to a circular economy and can better prevent plastic pollution from harming our oceans and planet. This innovative technology also paves the way for recycling PET fibers, another major challenge in guaranteeing a clean and protected environment for future generations." Unquote. They've partnered with the biotech firm Novozymes and plan to do industrial-scale production of the enzyme within five years. The Guardian reports that the enzyme costs just 4% of the cost of virgin plastic. Professor John McGeehan is the director of the Center for Enzyme Innovation at the University of Portsmouth. Professor McGeehan was not involved in this most recent study, but he was involved in previous studies on plastic degrading bacteria and enzymes, so he's an important figure in the field. Professor McGeehan really summed up the important points when he described this new research. He said, quote, It makes the possibility of true industrial scale biological recycling of PET a possibility. This is a very large advance in terms of speed, efficiency, and heat tolerance. It represents a significant step forward for true circular recycling of PET and has the potential to reduce our reliance on oil, cut carbon emissions and energy use, and incentivizes the collection and recycling of plastic waste." Unquote.